another morning, another lighthouse. Okay, so I think, oh, have I asked this question before? If you were traveling the country, state to state, every town, all the towns and little cities and along the way, what would be your subject matter? Lighthouse would be cool, but it's only in a couple of states. So maybe that would be a partial America journey. What if it was a full America? Every, all the states. What would you be photographing? I'm doing churches, though this morning I'm doing a lighthouse. So I was wondering why I was the only photographer out on this really cool point with a really good view. Obviously, it's not at the sunset or sunrise, but yeah, people are want the sunrise. Not just a good view, but the good sunrise. And uh, there's one guy up there. How is there not more photographers? The park's supposed to open at 6. It opened at like 6.15. Um, and then a cop parked out there waiting for speeders after he opened it up, I think. Anyways, I'll go up to where that guy is and then slink back down here if it doesn't turn out too well. Okay, here's the answer to my last question. They're not all over on that side, because they're on this side. Well, there's two or three of them I saw on this side. It's so scenic, I gotta get it out of my system. So next time I come here, I'll be able to do focus <laughs> more on churches. But, you know, like, this is also gonna... Oh, and the other thing is, I'm sponsored by a company that wants a lot of tourists to take pictures. So here we go, I'm doing my job. And, um, they help pay for this trip a little bit. So, yeah, gotta get some of these touristy things up and out of the way. Focus. I've got enough, I've got a few churches. I should focus on a few more. Hey, look, this is something new. I'm all dressed up. I'm gonna go inside of a church without a camera. What? What's going on? All right, so, peace out for three hours. Church service is over, Scott napped, Airstream parked, Portland, here I come. Just for a little bit. I got some other places in mind, oldest churches in all of Maine. Anyways, I got this one, there's another one over there. It's like, this is the hot spot. I like hot spots. And now we're in the Cathedral of St. Luke here in Portland, Maine. It's pretty nice. There's some nice coming in through there, hitting some of those pews up there. Stained glass looks awesome, it's super dark in there. Trying some in-camera HDR. Try in this room, but um, it's got a, such a cool vibe, but I don't know how to... I'll switch to the 14 to 24 here pretty soon. We are in York. Welcome to the oldest Baptist church, I believe. The oldest congregation, at least. Wikipedia is a fun thing. I finally went on there and was like, where's the oldest church? And Wikipedia obviously had the answers in each of the different states. And it gave me two or three uh, prominent churches in Maine. Um, I need to find more websites like that. So if you have that, and I did just on Google Maps just search around for any one that were like on the coast. And I found one that was like this awesome location and I went there and it was awesome, but there was gates and they were shut and it's like a tourist location now, mostly. Um, okay, and so the oldest one is uh, in South Kittery or something like that. And I'm going to head over there next. That's going to be my uh, sunset location. Done too many lighthouses, and though there is a cool lighthouse nearby, that would be probably pretty cool. It has come to my attention that perhaps people would enjoy hearing my thoughts as to the places I'm at. York, Maine, is a pretty good place for pictures. That's my thoughts on that. There was three churches that I'd like to take pictures of. I did the one, it was an old Baptist church. And uh, you just got this cool looking harbor, nice bridges, not too bad traffic, good leaves. Well, they're mostly brown now. Um, decent access, it looks like. Uh, I haven't seen a ton of pull-offs, maybe. That could be better. 
um, you're in a region that's not too near the freeways. You got some foresty areas. All in all, pretty decent. And remarkably enough, I planned a location. The so-called oldest congregational, ch oldest church. I don't know if that meant before any burnings or anything, because a lot of these old churches do happen to burn down. Yeah, that's what someone here was saying. Oh, well, I don't know if it's the oldest. It did burn down twice. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, this is a cool thing. I planned a location, and I got here in time. <laughs> yeah, it worked. And I even hit all the other stops along the way that I was thinking about doing. And now we're going to go into a cemetery. Because it's Halloween time. That's what you do, right? We got ourselves a little bit of, uh bells that went off and we were helping uh, jump start a car but it wasn't the jump start on the earth for the people and someone is going to help us we're going to go inside and I'm going to check my time lapse so you can keep talking we are in is it south? This south is, Kittery? this is Kittery Point Kittery Point there's a church here what is the actual name of the church? first congregational church of Kittery at Kittery Point. Okay, and as you can see, perhaps in the video, it says 1730. Yeah. That is the date of the building. That's the date of the building. The church was actually um, incorporated, founded in 1714. Okay, and yeah. so that makes it next year. Yep, the starting this November will be our, we'll start our 300th anniversary celebration. Okay, there we go. And so you... You, st you still have a pretty active congregation here. Very active. You have two services, I hear. 8 o'clock and a 10 o'clock. And uh, you then also have a, a parish building. Yeah, which is the oldest continual, continuously in use Sunday school, uh, parish house for a church in the state of Maine. In the state of Maine. And so there we are. We are up on the balcony here, taking a few pictures. And if you were here, um, November is it November second or November sixth? I can't remember where we're having our actual kickoff for our anniversary. It's going to be a whole colonial service done as if it were in colonial days. Oh yeah. Um, and it's going to be using um, the colonial our William Pepperell silver which is, was presented to this church by William Pepperell, who was a famous loyalist before the Revolutionary War, who was then drunk out of town. Okay. <laughs> yes. Got a lot of history. And then, uh, in fact, George Washington stayed in one of these buildings. Not, yes, he, he didn't did. sleep in the church, but he slept in the... In, in the parish house. In the parish house. Right. All right. 